Imagine living in a world of elves, dwarves, chaos, and conflict. Local author David Polly takes us into this medieval world in his new book, Icarus Rising. David, nice to see you. Welcome. Nice to see you as well. Thank you for having me on the show. What a book you've got going on here. You kind of take us into this fantasy fiction world, and there's a lot going on. There is, yes. It's a, it's a world I created, and I was able to bring in most of mo today's modern uh, problems and issues and deal with them, I think, in a unique fashion. Okay, speak, tell us about those issues. Uh, 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 okay, financial issues, we've got environment yes. issues. Yes, basically in the, the story starts out with an endless war of foreign occupation where the people don't want to be occupied and the people that are occupying don't want to leave. So there's sort of a modern day parallel with what we have going on in foreign policy. Then you have very you have greedy merchants that set up ambushes to that nearly kill the prince of the kingdom, and the the world is being environmentally degraded. Forests are being cut down, grasslands are being plowed over, and there's a race of people that is determined to stop that as well. So would you say, David, that uh, most of us would be able to identify with some of? The it's at characters? least yes, at least some <laughs> of it. If you're if you're someone that likes that likes rules and law and order, the king and his and the, the one prince will be wonderful for you. If you like someone that's a little bit of a of a rebel, there's another character. Uh, but I think there's something in there for everybody. And why did you decide to put this together? How did this come about? Had you always been intrigued by this type of uh, uh, movement, this type of world? Yes, I'd always been a huge fantasy fiction fan from er, as early as I can remember, you know, growing up with Chronicles of Narnia and that sort of idea. And then later on, long story short, after I was divorced, I had a lot of time on my hands. So I started mentally doodling in my head, wondering, you know, what kind of how I could solve today's problems without sounding like too much of an egomaniac. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? We're all here to make a difference, right? Right. <laughs> and that's what I'm hoping this book will do. Uh, making a difference. Yes. And I hope it'll help people, you know, sort of reassess what they have and uh, help them discover how they can make a difference, not only in their own lives, but in the lives for, you know, for people in the world around them. And uh, you love to write. We, we know that. Yes. That's for sure. Um, who, who, Tell us about some of your other interests. I, I know you love animals. I mean, you're quite the busy guy. You really you love martial arts. You've got so much going on. Yeah, I, I do. I, I love food. I took a sabbatical to train in Paris at Cordon Bleu. Um, oh, really? In food and pastry. I'm a local attorney that pays the, pays the bills. And I study Japanese martial arts, collect Japanese swords, uh, do weather forecasting. Um, rescue very, very large hairy dogs that sleep on my couch. Oh, sure, because you've got, what, about four furry friends at home, right? Yes, four <laughs> large dogs that uh, occasionally let me sit on my own couch. So, uh, so he's got some chaos in his own home, in a way. <laughs> oh, yes, there's, there's, there's sort of a constant storm of fur and, and, and feet. This is wonderful. Um, it's available now, okay, Icarus Rising. Uh, how can we purchase your book? Uh, it's online right now at Amazon and at Barnes and Nobles and Borders, both as a hard, as a paperback and as an uh, e-book. It's also available on at the Apple Store and on Sony. So if you have an e-book of any kind, you can download it. Uh, otherwise, you can get a hard copy online as well. And a pretty easy book to read. Uh, you go through it, and uh, you may not want to put it down. That's it. That's well, a good thing for your book. Yes, I hope it is. I hope it's compelling, and people will will may actually be able to get all the way through it and enjoy it. Okay. Anything on there uh, for the next level? Anything coming on the next project? Oh yes, I'm about a third of the way with finished with the sequel that starts right up with after the last page of this book. Well, we can't wait. To to talk to you about it then. I will be back. Okay, thank you. Thank you.